as a player. Um, so I would say I am a central midfielder who likes to get on the ball as much as he can. Um, I like to influence the game as much as I can. Uh, so anytime I get the ball, I always try to make sure I'm, I'm useful when I have it. Um, mainly just getting it deep from the centre half, goalkeeper, and then taking it forward uh, and creating attacks for the team. Obviously, I don't score too many goals, but I like to, to try help the team score. Uh, as a person, I'm, I'm pretty easy going. Um, I'm pretty laid back, you know. Uh, I like a bit of banter, and I uh, probably say my banter is no great, but um, if I don't say I'm lazy as well, I'd probably get a bit of a doing from my mom, my girlfriend, and that. So uh, I'd say I'm pretty lazy as well when it comes to, you know, just your chores and all that sort of thing. How would other people describe you? How, how do people in your family describe lazy. you and your teammates? <laughs> lazy. <laughs> uh, Aye, so my mum would definitely say I'm lazy, uh, so my girlfriend, but the players, I'd hope they wouldn't say that, but uh, I'd say, I'm, like I said, probably e easy to get along with, you know, I'll speak to anyone, have a conversation with anyone about anything, um, you know, I don't take myself too seriously, no, I, like, I like laughing that. Personal inspiration, phew, tough one, I'd, you know, just mainly my family probably, I'd, Watched my big brother <coughs> grow up playing football, so he signed with Ipswich uh, when he was maybe about 15 or 16. So when I seen him go down there, I kind of wanted to, to, you know, do the same thing, and that kind of made me properly focus on becoming a professional football player. So I'd maybe say him, but just mainly my family because they helped me get to, to where I am. Sort of thing. Yeah. What about professional inspiration? Who within the game do you, did you look up to, role model? Um, so probably Celtic fans from the appreciate it, but Steven Gerrard was always uh, the player that I looked up to uh, when he was at Liverpool and that, you know. He was always the kind of player I wanted to base my game around. Um, you know, he's a leader in the middle, middle of the park, scored many goals, made loads of goals, and, you know. He's the biggest influence probably. Well, one of the biggest influences in, you know, English football probably. What, what team did you follow and, <coughs> and, and who was your kind of favourites within that squad? I never actually supported a team, you know. <laughs> so my dad tried to bring me up, a Rangers fan, but it never really caught on. Um, probably for the best, but I've never... I, I watch football at the time, I probably watch f football, more football than anyone I know. Um, I watch any football that's on TV, but I don't actually support any team. I like the MLS football, <laughs> which is <clears throat> and a wee guilty pleasure of mine. I like watching it. I don't know why, it's just guaranteed goals. It's exciting and that, so... And it's, you know... I, you know some players over there, but you don't know some other ones. But there's a lot of good young players in that, so Definitely. it's good to watch. But yeah, I'll watch any football, any football that's on TV. What's your highlight in your career so far? Um, probably the goal at Partick Thistle um, in the semi-final of the cup. Um, aye, definitely that, because it was just quite a big moment. You know, I came back to the club after two loan spells because I felt a love from the from the fans and from the manager and the players as well. Um, so I, you know, no matter what happens in my career, I will always have Ray forwards to thank. No matter what, you know, like I say, no matter what happens, um, because I kind of think that's where my career has started, sort of thing. You know, I was at Celtic before, but um, I don't feel I don't feel my career really lifted until I started before until I joined Wraith. Yeah, one of the nicest things we've ever heard in an interview is when you when you came back as a player rather on a, on a loan deal and you said it feels like coming home. I always remember that. Um, what is that about the place? What is it about the fans, the the people around the club that that, that, that connects with you? Yeah, you hear loads of players say it all the time, like <clears throat> about a club having the family feel and that. But that's really what it is here. Um, you know, everyone will make time for you. When I first came in, I, you know, I was no one really knew me. I was obviously just came from Celtic on loan, but you know, I was welcomed like I was like I'd been there for years, um, and you know that played a big part in me coming back uh, last season on a full term basis. Um, um, so I, the fans and that they've been amazing with me, and um, like I say, I mean I, I owe a lot to them. And no matter what happens in my career, you know, I always have the Rafe fans and the Rafe overs itself to thank. Uh, tell us about your targets this season as a player and targets for the club. So, <clears throat> as a player, I'd, I think I've said it every season I've, uh, since, I, since I signed that I'd like to score more goals. Um, I'd like to make more goals. Um, just have a general influence in all the games, which I try to do anyway, but just kind of continue that from last season because it was a good season last season. Um, and for the team, I would say, you know, 
we're obviously just promoted, so you know we don't want to go and say that we're going to you know win the league or whatever. You know, there's big teams in this league, but you know you want to be up there. I think it's not unrealistic to aim for playoffs, and if you fall short of that, I'd still say it's a good season with the teams that are in the league and you know the budget that some of the other teams have in the league compared to what we have. I'd say you know mid table to, to up there would be ideal for us. Um, okay, so this will be our first live streaming game. Um, what difference will that make, and, and will that affect your your performance? It's quite a it's quite a weird thing to, you know, not just for me, for other boys, uh, you know, for anyone in the world really playing football. It's quite a weird situation that we're in, but um, it's not the same without the fans. You know, we've played a few pre-season games with no one, no one there, and it's you know, you don't get the same buzz that you that you get from the fans. So, I mean, it's quite important that we get them back in when we can, you know, but. You know, hopefully they tune in on, on Saturday and you know, hopefully we'll feel some sort of buzz uh, through the media uh, for the game. What I'd say to the Forwards fans is as much as you can't be here, we'll, we'll make sure that we're putting in you know, as much effort, if not more, effort to win games, to get points and you know, hopefully we we'll qualify for, for this Betfred Cup that we've got coming up. Um, and obviously, I said before, you know, the sooner we can get the fans in, the better for everyone because you know, football's not the same without them.